I'm always looking for tools where we can have conversations that help us learn a little bit more about each other, just Dis disarm ourselves a little bit, maybe find some similarities. My name is Megan Ray. I'm a program officer with the Winthrop Rockefeller Institute. We are located in Moralton, Arkansas, which is the top Pedigene Mountain. We have a conference center. We have overnight lodging. We have beautiful grounds. But we also have our own programs. One is called Beyond Civility, where it's teaching people how to have civil conversations, tough conversations, hard conversations, where you can reach across the aisle. It's not about debating. It's a little bit more about having dialogues that would lead to productive conversations. So our goal is to use some of our skills of what we've learned at Photo Voice in identifying issues from a grassroots level. There has to be an, a need for it. Um, going through this whole photo voice training was kind of a healing process. A couple of things that I, I really learned from John and Winnie's approach to facilitating was how we would have some sort of moment of intention at the beginning. I have really brought that to any meeting I've tried to do. And I think I've changed in my mind. I've changed it from thinking about icebreakers or getting people revved up, like let's get ready to meet but what calm can I bring to this meeting? I also really learned through Essential Photo Voice, maybe how to delicately listen to people's stories, how to help people respectfully manage time and feel heard. One of the participants showed us some photos of his local community barbershop that has meant a lot to him and his family over the years and was talking about how progress and the development has really changed his neighborhood and kind of taken away the sanctuary. He was able to tell his story in a way that was not anti-progress, not anti, we don't want development, we don't want this or that, but here is what it means to me, here's what it has meant to my community. I just think without those personal firsthand stories, you lose so much. It also kind of helps you take control of your own narrative. Like think you can learn a lot from it personally and how you share your story and how you show the world who you are. So.